Greetings and welcome back. Our featured presentation today highlights historical black cinema films. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. Today we highlight a monumental collection of historically vital works of America's legendary first African-American filmmakers is the only one of its kind. These films are both a visual treat for those of us who love cinema, and also serves as a significant archival project for the history buffs. The featured films cover race issues that went unaddressed by Hollywood for decades, but also features a wide range of topics from romance to melodramas to westerns. It's wonderful to see how black filmmakers presented their storylines with a very limited budget and resources. Moreover, these films and movies showcase the talents of early African-American masters such as Oscar Michaud, Spencer Williams, Paul Robeson, and Zora Neale Hurston. Given that most of these films were not part of mainstream movie outlets and distribution, they have always been in danger of being overlooked. However, we want to pay homage to the humble beginnings of Black Hollywood and any preservation efforts of its work. This list is inspired by the newly preserved 5-DVD collection by Kino Lorber that features more than 20 films made by groundbreaking African-American directors. These monumental films were digitally mastered in HD and can be purchased on Amazon. Check out the link in the description below. So without further ado, in this original Black XLS video, we will highlight historical black cinema films. Let's get started. Birthright Carmen Newsom returns to the small Tennessee town in which he was raised after attending college. He has dreams of establishing a school for black children, but is swindled by a banker. The whites of the town think it is quite funny, while the black population wonders why they should get an education when Newsom's years at college didn't stop him from being frauded. The Blood of Jesus Raz accidentally shoots his wife Martha when his hunting rifle drops on the floor and discharges. The church congregation gathers at Martha's bedside to pray for her recovery. During this period, an angel arrives to take Martha's spirit from her body, but she is tempted by the slick Judas Green, who is an agent for Satan. Body and Soul An escaped prisoner seeks refuge in a predominantly African-American town by passing himself off as a preacher, Reverend Jenkins. He schemes to swindle the congregation of their offerings, but falls in love with a young member of the congregation who is coincidentally in love with Jenkins' long-estranged twin brother. The Bronze Buckaroo Bob Blake and his boys arrive at Joe Jackson's ranch to find him missing. While Slim cheats Dusty out of his money using ventriloquism and marked cards, Blake tries to find Jackson. Learning that Thorne and his gang hold him prisoner, he and his men trail them. When Thorne's gang gets the drop on them, Slim puts his ventriloquism to work. By right of birth, Juanita Cooper is the adopted daughter of Frank Cooper and Geraldine Cooper. Geraldine backed Manuel Romero, an unscrupulous Mexican-American stockbroker, on a trip to Oklahoma to secure oil leases from Friedman Alatiz, who are ignorant of the real value of their holding. Romero focuses on an allotment belonging to Helen, a missing Alatee. He forges Helen's name to Elise while searching for her. Geraldine discovers that Juanita is the missing Helene. After witnessing deceit and death of Romero, Juanita is reunited with her real mother and comes into the fortune and happiness which is hers. Commandment Keeper Church, Beaufort, South Carolina Zora Neale Hurston directs this footage from a folklore collecting project that focused on the study of religious tranches in the Sanctified Church. The excerpt was taken at the Commandment Keeper Church in Beaufort, South Carolina on May 18-19, 1940. The Reverend George Washington leads the services, while the Prophet Julia Jones, the Deacon Henry Moore, Zora Neale Hurston, several of Washington's family members, and the other congregants participate. The Darktown Review Darktown Review is an 18-minute American pre-code short film by Oscar Michaud, his first short venture into sound film. The dances and ensembles were co-directed by Leonard Harper. The film included choral singing and several vaudeville acts, including the comedy duo of Tim Moore and Andrew Tribble doing a routine about a haunted house. Dirty Gertie from Harlem, USA Gertie LaRue is a nightclub entertainer from the Harlem. She arrives on a Caribbean island to perform as a headliner at the Paradise Hotel. Gertie attracts the attention of several men. However, a former boyfriend from Harlem tracks Gertie to the island insisting that he still loves her. If you love our videos and have a suggestion for a future edition, 
let us hear from you in the comments section below. 11 p.m. A truly bizarre mix of sentimentality, spirituality, and the supernatural, 11 p.m. follows an impoverished violinist named Sun Daisy. She tries to protect a young orphan girl from small-time hoodlum and wants to prevent her straying into a life of sin and features one of the most mind-boggling endings ever. The Exile A young man named Gene in post-World War I Chicago falls in love with a beautiful girl named Edith. He proposes to her but realizes that she's involved in the rackets and won't leave them. Gene goes back home to South Dakota where he becomes a successful rancher. There he falls for a white girl but guilt drives him back to Chicago, where he runs into Edith again. They eventually agree to marry, but when Edith is later found murdered, Jean is blamed for the crime. The Flying Ace A veteran World War I fighter pilot returns home a war hero and immediately regains his former job as a railroad company detective. His first case? Recover a stolen satchel filled with $25,000 of company payroll, locate a missing employee, and capture a gang of railroad thieves. God's Stepchildren A light-skinned baby girl, Naomi, was left by her mother at the home of a widow. As she grows older, she demonstrates an intense hatred of blacks and attempts to ingratiate herself into white circles. Naomi spreads a false rumor that her teacher is having an affair with a married professor. A riot ensues, and Naomi is shipped off to a convent. Returning to the family farm years later, a grown-up Naomi ties the knot with a dark-skinned farmer whom she doesn't love, leading to a disastrous marriage and a tragic fate for Naomi. The Hellbound Train A silent film made by an African-American evangelist and preserved by the Library of Congress shows all the ways to find your way on the train for hell at the end of your life. They show the devil as the engineer and he hops around all excited when people do things like shoot each other over jealousy or a crap game. Hot Biscuits This film is a slight, 10-minute sound comedy. It tells the story of a man who pretends to own a miniature golf course and is challenged to a game after telling everyone he is a great player. Knowing he will lose, a friend figures out a way he can cheat and win, but things go badly. Regeneration A well-to-do man, a beautiful girl, and her one-legged bodyguard and family servant are the sole survivors of a shipwreck. Upon making it to an uninhabited South Seas island, the influence of the girl brings about a reformation of the wealthy man, until three sailors, also survivors, show up and have designs on the girl. To make matters worse, a pirate's treasure chest is discovered buried on the beach, and matters become even more tense and violent. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us, and don't forget to like this video. Also, Make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.